Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, a God that works in night shift. And Moses stretched out his hand over the Red Sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. Exodus 14, 21. Moses delivered a message to the king and his court that God has instructed for Israel to be set free. After a series of plagues that literally stood Egypt on its head, Israel finally began a mass exodus out of the land. They left in a haste as the land was wrapped in the grief of the loss of its firstborns. A very short period of time passes and Pharaoh decides that he cannot allow these slaves to escape. He still needs them to build his vast empire. So the pursuit ensues and suddenly they were gaining ground on Israel. And I'm sure that Israel looked over their shoulder and began to tremble at the possibility of being overtaken. It appeared they were going to die in the wilderness. But the narrative of Exodus 14 tells us that God had been working on their behalf. In fact, the scripture informs us that God had been working all through the night. He had been working in a place that they could not see. Israel had to enter the dark and marshy borders of the Red Sea when God seemingly withdraw his presence to remove himself or to go behind us so we cannot see him. This is a God who works the night shift. The whole situation was for Israel to go forward. For the first temptation in an hour of real darkness and supreme difficulty was to retreat. But the order came from Moses, go forward. The sea was what Pharaoh counted on to be the destruction of the Israelites. But instead, it first became their defense and then it turned into their avenger. With equal ease, God can make the danger that menaces the faithful man to fall not on him, but on his adversaries. <laughs> the furnace heated to consume the Hebrew boys, destroyed the Babylonians. The lions of Darius did not devour Daniel, but those men who accused him. The Jews who determined to destroy the early church by influencing the Romans against Jesus and the apostles were they themselves within 40 years, almost exterminated by the same Romans. God works when we cannot see him working. Too often we look at what's wrong with the church, but today we are to see what's right with the church. The church will press on until the rapture. The thought of the day. With equal ease, God can make the danger that menaces the faithful man to fall not on him, but on his adversaries. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.